Hey folks, I'm Surveying Glory, and welcome to part 5 of my exploration of Aurora 4X. And we're a bit progressed from where we were the last time out, uh, mostly because I updated my recording software and it messed with the settings which resulted in these pop-up windows not appearing or not being captured. So it didn't make much sense trying to watch the videos without those uh, visible. Um, but not missed much. Uh, we have transferred the 100 infrastructure across to Luna and to Mars. Uh, because of the eccentricity of its orbit, Mars can support a maximum of 0.4 million colonists and Luna 0.5 million. Uh, so we're going to get colonies set up and to that end we have our first colony ship, the uh, colony ship Ardent, or the Ardent class. It's fairly slow, 631 kilometers per second, and it can only carry 100,000 colonists. But that's okay, it's only going to set up the colonies on Luna and Mars for us. It's not going to go too much further afield, so it doesn't need too much speed. Uh, and obviously it doesn't need too much cargo capacity either, or colonist capacity, since the colonies are so small. And we do have that actually, the first of those ships underway. Yep, the, HM, the HMS, HMCS Anchorite will be complete in just over two and a half years. We are, in terms of our industry, con converting our conventional industry to construction factories and financial centres. And our wealth is just about holding its own just now. And mining, we're still okay, although I would like to open up some geranium mines off-world as soon as possible, um, just to increase our annual production. Because the geranium particularly, and the mercassium, are the bottlenecks. Uh, I think we'll start producing maintenance supplies again. Although, having said that, the only ship that we've got out and about is the Ayrshire survey ship. Completed our financial centres. So they account for just over a third of our total um, annual racial wealth. I think we're going to be okay there. But it does mean we've got some capacity to use up. Uh, let's switch this over to say 60% and infrastructure uh, we'll get the 24 so we'll start to produce some more of that um, let's produce thousand at 20% of our capacity and we'll get some low grab infrastructure set up as well just in case we've got some potential colonies on the gas giant moons so it'd be useful to have some low grav infrastructure right carrying on Lots of retirements there. Nobody was assigned to anything. Construction factories are complete. So we've still got 190 conventional industry. I want some more financial centres. I think we will take another 40 of those. 30% capacity and convert another 100 of these you see they require 10 uranium We've got plenty available but it's eaten into our annual production uh, so create that okay Carrying on. Survey fleet is out of uh, fuel again. Right, I actually meant to do this. Stop. 
Um, yeah, I'd forgotten this was going to be changed just to sur surfing this planet or moon. Why are you still running out of fuel? Where are you coming from, survey fleet? Because you're able to get out as far as Neptune. Maybe you've just bounced around too far and amongst the moons out there. Anyway, so movement orders. Uh, let's remove that. And standing orders. We can remove that. So that should leave you stopped where you are. The vessel recovery fleet. You are, let's see, ship overview. Uh, no, fleet, ship list, fuel, right, okay. Uh, movement orders, refuel from colony, just to make sure you're completely topped up, and then send you out to the survey fleet. Join and refuel target fleet. And we'll leave it at that. The survey fleet, standing up, no, um, formation orders, no. Refuel and fleet, and that should be okay. I'm trying to remember the lessons I learned the last time this happened. So we'll move on. The recovery fleet jumped right out there within five days, but it says the airship's still out of fuel. Okay. Um. Should have sent you to join the subfleet. Never mind. Uh, refuel on subfleet. Let's try that. Give it a day. How are we looking now? Ah, everything's rosy. Right, let's detach the virtual again. And your fleet has disappeared. Right, never mind. You're going to return to Earth. Stay there and the survey fleet. You'll do the same. And we can carry on. Right, Birchall's completed its orders. As well as the survey fleet. And they should just hang around Earth now. Financial centers completed and we have our maximum engine power modifier researched. So power and propulsion again. Zoe, I'd like to try and get your bonuses up. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's Yeah, we've only got two fact uh, two research facilities available because we're focusing on other things. Could actually remove some from there. I think that's better. Yeah, so Zoe, you research the uh, capacitor recharge rate. And then we may as well throw you into these things here. Let's add that to your queue. Uh, production is complete as well, that's right. Okay, so we've got 30% capacity available. Still got 105 commercial industry, uh, but we're converting this, so that will go down to 50. Um, I think we'll hold on to that just now and we'll see what we end up with. And wealth looking like it's looking good. What I think I would like to get is another military academy. It eats into our geranium again, but if we have one of those at 30% capacity, 
Try it again. There we go. Twenty thirty seven. Yeah, we'll see if we can. No, actually, that's a bit risky. I think. What's our stockpile? No, we've got six and a half thousand. That should be okay then. Yep. So we'll leave that to work its way through, and that should allow us to get more officers, more um, scientists as well. I hope. Uh, mining production is complete, the research. So that's construction and production. Dylan. Construction rate. Maintenance production. Let's go with the wealth generation instead. So that's just a year and a third ish. Yeah, settle for that. And so construction factory is complete as well now. So we've got 600 construction factories. Still get 50 of these. Where do we put them? Sort of wealth looking like now. It's still okay. 150 financial centers, 600 factories. Um, research facilities are still being improved. Just put them into the construction factories as well, maybe. Or mines, that's what we'll do. Let's get us 50 more mines. That would be quite useful, I think. And something that I wanted to check out. If we look at our, no, through the summary window, we don't have a planetary governor. Okay, I was sure I had this set up. Automated assignment for colony. Assign colony governor. Population growth, wealth creation and mining. You're not actually giving us any wealth creation or mining. Okay, Luna, let's assign a colony governor in there. Do the same in Mars. And if we check out our Navy, we've got Lucas Peacock, Jake Matthews. Now we don't have a fleet commander in here because it's not an admin command. Is there no commander on here either? The automation doesn't seem to be working. Uh, let's select someone, go to military ships. The airship has no commander. Good God. Um, you don't really need a commander because you're not going out and survey any longer. Uh, yep, Aaron Little, you need a promotion. And then you can become commander of the Ayrshire. And the virtual uh, logistics. Yeah, right, okay, Lewis Townsend. But you've got good tactical as well, so let's not have you in there. Yeah, George Gordon, assign you commander of the virtual. How about commercial ships? Okay, Reliant has a commander. Yeah, we still have an Academy Commandant, it seems. 
Yeah, but I thought I had those things set up to automatically appoint a new co uh, governor or commander if somebody died or retired. Infrastructure complete. So how much we've we got? Th 1,024 now. And we've got 20% capacity available. So I think actually we're going to need mass drivers soon. Or automated mines. Yeah, obviously we need to start with mines before we need mass drivers. So let's get some of these constructed. Constructed, hundred of those at what did I say? Twenty percent. I'm still doing okay there. And I've not looked at that for a while for um, the colonies. Oh, we don't have any colonies set up. Don't need to worry about that. But we do need to transport troops over, so we'll need troop transport ship. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the design board then. And uh, troop transport. Uh, ship class. Rename the class. Uh, let's go to this for now. Select random name from theme. The theme is going to be troop transport has to be Royal Navy Amphibious Ships. Um, these... Uh, troop ship will have We don't need the uh, suffix. So let's select a name. Royal Navy Amphibious Ships. It's going to be the Intrepid class. Right. Uh, troop transport. And this is just going to be a conscript crew. Yeah. And we need conventional troop transport. And what's the size of a battalion? One thousand seven hundred and fifty, I think. So two thousand tons should be enough to carry it. We don't need. Uh, let's throw in the engine uh, engines. Eight seventy six. That would be sufficient for the moment anyway. Deployment time here would only be six months. We need more maintenance supplies. Let's take out the fighter. We'll go with a small, a tiny. That's enough for just now. So we've got 874 kilometers per second. We can carry a battalion. That's everything we need. Plenty of range. In fact, we could even remove the fuel storage and add small. So a couple of small. Again, plenty of range. I think we're good to go with that then. It's a commercial vessel for um, maintenance purposes. And that means that we can't build it at all until we've got the colony ship out, but that's okay. And we can carry on. So our mines are now completed. What is our mining looking like now? So 4,800 production per year. Stockpile has taken a real hammering because of what we've been working on recently. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I do need to keep an eye on an expenditure. Where I Empire Mining. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for what we're using our um, resources on. I thought we could get a more of a detailed breakdown. So shipyard tasks and maintenance use up some, but it's the construction obviously doing the most. So we've got military academy. That will be the biggest drain. Military academy there. So that's yeah, the 1200. But we're almost complete with that. Automated mines don't use any geranium. Research facilities will use some. Uh, oh, we've committed all of our conventional industry. That's why that's disappeared. Uh, research facility. Yep, they use up some as well. But that's quite a slow rate of consumption. And low grav infrastructure uses a minuscule amount. So geranium should be okay. We've got plenty of supply points um, let's start creating some more fuel right military academy is now complete so if we come back here naval officers uh, of rear admiral or above pick a name any name and Academy Commandant. <laughs> so the one Commandant serves the two Academies. Military Academies too, I guess so. Academy show up in there. Okay. Assume that's the case then. And we've got 60% capacity now. I think mines again would be useful. So let's go for another 50 mines and 30% capacity. Infrastructure, I think we've got a thousand. Yep. Hmm. I could go for more construction factories. They don't we don't need too much geranium. Or we could get our mass driver started. Use a bit more geranium, but we only want uh, two of them for now. 30% capacity, let's do that. Right. Research completed into capacity recharge rate. Uh, you've now gone to Maximum engine power modifier, that's good. And we've still got a year before the colony ship comes out. And if it's still at the same rate of progress. We've got that complete and we've got labs to assign. So that's uh, construction production. Dylan. Shipyard operatings. Operations or shipbuilding rate. Let's put some attention in here. Our research. Let's go for. Let's go for the shipbuilding first. And the spare lab. We can give to Zoe. So Zoe, you're. Bonus 15, is that right? Hmm. 
Yeah. Let's try to get your bonus up. Anyway, carry on. Our first mass driver is complete. So the next one should be starting straight away. Ah, and I was actually I was going to check and see when this was due. So it, it looks like it was brought forward by about nine months. Good stuff. So let's get into our shipyards at mining. Yeah, we're still okay. Uh, yep, shipyards, tailor ship building. We want to retool for the Intrepid class troop transport. And then we'll get that sorted out. We should, uh, you, so, hang on, fuel transport fleet. No, you're not fuel transport fleet. Uh, you're, um, vessel rescue fleet. So the Birchog is in there. And we have our colony fleet. Movement orders, uh, no, standing orders. We don't need anything there. Fuel is less than 30%. We should be fine. I refuel at colony. Deployment exceeded. Do the overhaul. Uh, but your movement orders to start with. So, 100,000 colonists, let's get you to load colonists. Take them to Luna and unload colonists. And then we'll repeat that four times. There we go. And then back to Earth. Refuel. Yeah, we'll do that and then we'll do similar to Mars. So if we come in a bit closer, and then we can actually see the fleet going backwards and forwards. And if we just go in like one hour increments. Nothing's, oh yeah, something is happening. It is loading up, so let's go for three hour increments. It's taken an awful long time. I suppose if it's, I don't know, if it's got uh, one cargo shuttle bay. So I think that's two, well, Earth's moved, that's what's happened. Um, Yeah, so if it's only got two cargo shuttles, I suppose that's what the delay is. So we just go up to five days, we'll forget watching the wee lines that backwards and forwards. How does things look on Luna? Just make sure that it's actually doing what it's... Yeah, we've got 0.1 million. Going to move. Let's try 30 days. Let's skip past. There we go. Orders complete. 0.5 million. So back to our fleet again. New movement orders at Earth. Load colonists. And this time go to Mars and unload colonists. And we need that uh, repeated three times. Uh, no, hang on. I don't know if it's got the fuel to do that. Uh, no, uh, ship overview, class design display, nope. One point three billion. Can I actually get to Mars and back twice? Where is Earth? It's not too far away, so it's only yeah. 170,000. So that should be alright. 
Uh, colony fleet movement orders. Yeah, okay, and then go back to Earth, refuel from colony, and then load colonists, and then we'll do the drop off another couple of times. Uh, unload colonists. And back to Earth to refuel. And that should hopefully go smoothly enough. Uh, composite armor has been researched. I, just, I decided, I think I did this in the part that I didn't record. Uh, yeah, it switched Francesca Dean over from, I think, missiles and kinetic weapons because we didn't have a defensive systems scientist. Uh, so you start doing ceramic composite now with your seven labs. Take a while, but you'll get there in the end. And the colony fleet has finished its business. So we've got our first two colonies set up. Now, I suppose let's set up, see if this works. Infrastructure, uh, let's add a demand for another 100 infrastructure. And if we do the same at Mars, I just want to see if this actually gets the civilian uh, freight lines up and running because we will need to improve our, our increase our infrastructure because the colonies are going to just grow by natural means, if nothing else. So we need more infrastructure to keep up with or uh, exceed population growth. So we'll get that going and see what happens. Uh, but I'm going to put in a break here and we'll pick this up again next time out. So for now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and hope to see you again next time. Cheers.